The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have received little public support with their new U.S. ventures after they made a series of bombshell claims in an interview with Oprah in March. Meghan even singled Kate out over claims she made her cry in the run-up to her royal wedding. But royal expert Michaela Friel claimed Kate could break ranks with the royal family's silence to support her sister-in-law's Project 40 by 40, which she launched on her Archwell website to mark her 40th birthday last week. Some of those who have committed 40 minutes of their time to mentor a woman in their community are singer Adele, poet Amanda Gorman, Sophie Gregoire Trudeau, the wife of Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, and fashion designer Stella McCartney. It comes after Eugenie posted her support for Dear Meghan's new project on her Instagram page, despite not being included in the list of supporters. Ms. Friel told us weekly, I don't think it was an intentional move. There might be a reason she couldn't have officially put her name down, but that being said, I don't think that means that we won't see her involved in some capacity. Prince Harry's cousin Princess Eugenie she actually posted on her Instagram that she was supporting the initiative. And her name wasn't mentioned in the original press release. So it could be that Kate turns around and shows support in her own way down the line. Eugenie encouraged her supporters to commit to Meghan's new 40 by 40 project. She wrote on Instagram, to celebrate dear Meghan's 40th birthday, I'm contributing 40 minutes of my time to helping women re-entering the workforce. If you can please join me to commit 40 minutes to community, service or mentorship. Nigel Cawthorn, author of Prince Andrew, recently claimed the Duke of Sussex may be able to rely on Eugenie to be a neutral go between if he and Meghan ever attempt to return to the fold. He told Female, at this moment in time, it is hard to see how anyone could bring Harry and Meghan back into the fold. Prince Harry not only decided to leave both the firm and Britain, but also to give public interviews that are suggestive. In order for Harry, let alone Meghan, to return to the fold a very long time of rebuilding trust would be required. Undoubtedly, while tempers are flaring it is good to have a neutral go between such as Eugenie who can with absolute discretion pass on messages that aren't heard by courtiers at large. Authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand said Harry and Eugenie were the closest of friends in the Sussex biography Finding Freedom. They wrote, out of all the Queen's grandchildren, Harry and Eugenie have one of the most natural connections. Like Harry, Eugenie is loyal, honest and great fun. The two had many nights out together in London, sneaking into back entrances of clubs, such as Mahiki, where Jack once was manager, or Tonteria, where in one of the VIP cave areas they downed shots from Mexican skull-shaped glasses and a giant frozen margarita, with multiple straws. And Eugenie also already knew Megan through their mutual friend Misha Nonu. Mr. Scobie and Ms. Durand wrote, not only did he trust her implicitly, but friends said that she gives great advice and has always been beyond wise for her years.